You just swore at the subscribers. Huh? You just swore at the subscribers. No, I didn't. <laughs> I'm joking. She's so pure. Bless her. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, subscri subscribers, if I did, though. No, I'm joking, God, I'm joking Bubba. The Grimway family actually showing real life despite social media feeding us who that real hype. We just some real guys trying to give some high definition to reality family. I karate juggling lies. Smoke for these friends to avoid eternal casualty trust. It ain't easy, but teamwork make the dream work. It's me, Ella, Hesse, Hosanna, Harper, and Halle. And I ain't forget that has a ride to the family. Right, Hosanna, I think I'm just going to put your hair into either single plaits or. Um, Cane row, two cane row, depending on what seems to work better today. And then we're gonna um, put your headscarf on, okay? Yeah. Because I think it would be good for the girls to be able to wear headscarves a bit more often. Yeah. You did wear it the other day, innit? Did you like wearing it the other day? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to, I tried to get you some slightly different material ones. I wish I was better at just doing cane row. Just anyhow, but I'm not the greatest at camera. I'm still learning, isn't it, baby? As soon as I'm learning, I don't know if I'm the greatest one to teach you, but hey. But it would be good because then you could maybe camera your own hair or camera each other's hair, isn't it? Yeah. So you really need to go out in a rush mm -hmm. to work. I could just Cane you could do your sister's cane rows or you could do your own cane rows maybe yeah. right let me see if I can get I'm going to try and do it in two cane rows rather than single plaits just because I think it will sit a bit better underneath your um, headscarf do you want to just kind of hold this section here for me yes I could use a hairband but yeah that's easier for now Okay. Let me try and start her cane row. Like thick or? No, it's just going to be two. Okay, well maybe you might call it French braid. You know when I just do your hair in the two, yeah, the two plaits. Oh yeah. As you can see, I'm um, still learning, Hosanna. But hey, practice makes perfect. perfect. When you was younger, I think I used to try and do it in two little plaits a bit more often. All right, that is one plait that almost done. I'm just going to tuck it into itself. Would you tuck it in? Put tuck it, it in under, a bun. yes. No, 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 I'm not putting it in a bun. I'm going to tuck it under, okay. under the bottom. Mm -hmm. Right, that'll be fine. I'm going to tuck it in up there, like so. Right, that's one done. And now to do the other side. Okay. Has nice and moisturised, which is good. Did I put Twisted Sister in your hair this morning? I think um, I did, didn't I? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I think I did. Yeah, that. That Twisted Sister shampoo. It's <laughs> not shampoo, it's moisturiser. Can you say moisturiser? Moisturiser. <laughs> I don't even say it. Can you say Moisture. Moisturiser. Riser. Riser. Moisturiser. Moisturizer. That's good. You. <laughs> I can't even say it. You can't. You just said it. Head down, please, Nancy. Oh, I said okay. I can't even say. I can't even say that. Yeah, you just learned how to say. It. You said moisturizer. You just broke it. Can't even say it. Okay. You can say it. You can say anything that you practice saying, isn't it? Right. Look at this. What are you doing? Cycling your legs, doing your exercises. You keep doing your gymnastics conditioning, Harper Ray, so that you can build up strength. Right, I definitely didn't part that down the middle of your head, but you put it on a headscarf, so it's okay. <laughs> Look, wait, let's start. Get his muscle. Give it to him. Look. Oh, you're putting your fingers in your mouth like Harper. <laughs> and take your bottle now. <laughs> yes, right. bottle. That's your braids done. It's okay? Yep. <laughs> um, so, first of all, do you want me to try the bow one first or the bun one first? 
bun. The bun one, okay, right. So, to do your hair in a headscarf, we've got you this scarf today, and it's pink on one side and like a cream like colour on the other side. It's like dark pink and then light pink. Yeah, and it's like a rectangular shape, isn't it? Yeah. So, I'm going to get you to put your head forward a little bit. Not too far forward, just here. That's great. I'm going to kind of, because your head's quite small and this scarf is quite big, I'm just going to tuck up under one side a little bit so we've not got too much material that we're working with. Then I'm going to put it over your head. I'm trying to not squeeze your ears too much. There you go. And then you sit up a little bit. Then I'm going to catch it up in your forehead at the front and start twisting it. So sit up for mummy a bit. Okay, and a bit lower. I'll bring your ears out afterwards, so sit up for me. And then just start twisting it without getting all your eyes caught up in it, hopefully. Yeah. Because I've got a nice mixed fabric. You've got a nice mixed colour bun that's going to happen, and then we just start twisting. And twisting. Yes, yeah, so it will go on your face. Could you really look up for mummy now? There we go, and twisting as we go. See, I twist that here as I go round and round and round. So it's like a, making a big snail shell. <laughs> and then twist it all in. Bring it, keep your head up and keep your head strong for mummy. So it's not flinging all about the place. So as much as I'm trying to move you, you've got to try and keep your head still. Okay. And then just tuck that in there. Just bring it over your ears so it doesn't hurt. There you go. That's the one. Yeah. Right, do you like it like that? Yeah, I like the multicolored bit. Yeah, obviously depending on the different ways that I was, would wrap it, it the, the colors would get spread across your head differently. So like really and truly, I probably would have maybe fold it another way another day. You would have got more pink on your head here, but the way I've done it this time, all the pink is obviously at the front and in the bun. But of course it's just trial and error sometimes, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so that's your bun one done. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm gonna move on to your sister, Halle Bally. Let's get your plaits going on, hey? Do you know what, can you go forward a little bit for mummy? That's it, thank you. Okay, I'm going to the ends of your hair a little bit so I can get the knots out because, as we know, your ends get a little matted together. So in order to plait your hair, I can't have the ends knotted. So I have to just gently go through them, obviously while they're wet. Um, Hallie, you're going to have a bun one as well, yeah? To start off with yeah. and then I'll do all your bows together at the end. Yeah. Right. So, let's get another plait going on. So, I'm not going to wet all your roots, I don't think. I'm still trying to work out what is easy to do with all your hair types, whether to wet it and plait it, or whether to leave it dry and plait it. Oh. Seems to be different on different days. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Right, there we go. And we're off. So I'm only braiding their hair because basically your hair, your sister's hair, I'm braiding it because um, that's just the best way to keep it flat um, to go under your headscarf. Because you don't really want, but if I was to do it in a bun, it would obviously stick out the back of your headscarf. Can you put your head down a bit, please, Hallie? Yeah, kind of look weird. It looked like you had a horn at the back of your head. Yeah. You don't want it to look like that. But my yeah. braids are definitely not great. I like the braids. Thanks, babes. I think you're a bit biased because you're my daughter. <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, my plaits are definitely neater than my braids. I must say. Or my cane row, or my corn row, or my French plait, whatever you want to call it. Down at the bottom of your plait, sweetie. Then I'm going to tuck your ends in in here is that okay yeah uh-huh <laughs> okay i'm going to try and tuck it okay maybe i need to tuck it in up here that's it that's better tuck it in a bit higher and make it go up through your hair and then i'm going to try and do the other side now 
put a little bit of moisturiser on that side because it's a bit dry. But I can comb through it easily. Hallie, what's your favourite hairstyle? Out and then twists and then no, out then um a ponytail and then twists like twist out and then twists in a ponytail and then maybe a plait after and then a twist like one twist there and then one twist there like mummy's doing um, and then yeah that's all mine done can you put your head down a bit because I've not had you at the right angle and that plait has just gone skewiff all over the place but it's just what it is for now and I'm going to finish plaiting down this one again mm -hmm. guys this plait is atrocious okay mummy's not good at plaiting in terms of braiding the hair it needs to get better a lot better because <laughs> it's terrible <laughs> but yeah hopefully you'll practice it is it's a very bad braid very atrocious I know you're trying to be positive on mummy but I'm just speaking the truth it's not a good braid right I'm gonna do another do you like wearing a headscarf Hallie Cause yeah good. yeah because you did it for the first time the other day do you think you'd like to wear headscarves out a bit more yeah, I like to wear them outside now because my mum wears them outside so I want to copy her. Oh, that's sweet that you want to copy mummy. Not like mean copy, but like... Yeah, copy nice in a copy. good way. I think that's nice that you want to copy your mum because I am trying to be your example. I'm trying to set a good example for you. Um, and sometimes I just put on a headscarf. One, because sometimes when my hair's not done, I might put a headscarf on. Or two, if I just feel like, it's usually if I just feel like I just want a different style for the day. Sometimes if I've like, when I gel my hair down, if I've done it, can you see like how my hair's gelled that down now, Holly Rose? You're not looking at mummy. Holly. <laughs> see like how my hair's gelled down now? You know, sometimes I do it and I'm straight out of the shower and I put the gel in, I'll put on my headscarf because it needs to dry. But then we need to go out, so just leave my headscarf on. Yeah. Yeah, so. I'll tell you what, you can actually turn around on the chair and face Oh, and mommy. sometimes oh, okay. when mummy's hair is messy, she puts it on like a headscarf on. Yeah. Because she doesn't want to show all that ruggy, ruggy, dovey hair. <laughs> ruggy, duggy hair. Okay, cool. All right. <laughs> Awesome. Okay. So I usually, Hello, I usually kind of use square head scars on myself, but because you girls' heads are a lot smaller than mummy's head, <laughs> I can get these rectangular ones and then fold the edge over and I still have plenty of material to still do your head scarf. Could you put your head down for mummy? Thank you. Oh, I'm trying to catch up with hers there. Right, so around the front now, again, making sure I've not... Well, here your ear is bent over, so I want to make sure that's comfortable for you on both sides. Oh, fix it where your earrings are not. I'm trying to tuck in all your hairs, Hallie, that's what I'm trying to do around the back. Okay, and then I'm just going to twist like I did with Hosanna's one. And I like get when I'm doing the buns, I like getting lots of material so the bun is bigger rather than a really tiny one. So I just think it looks really trendy when it's big. What do you think? Do you think it's better with a bigger bun or with a smaller bun? Big. A bigger one, isn't it? Yeah. It's like a big if, donut. If it's small, it looks like a small looks a small like donut or something. When it's bigger, I think it looks like more of a statement. Yep. This ear keeps wanting to fold over. Let's just pull this down. You guys will learn at some point to do these on yourselves. Let's tuck all that hair Can away. I have my earrings out? Your earrings are out. Do you want me to oh. pull this one out a little bit more? There you go. I felt like I it. Huh? Now I... Can I look in the mirror? Yes, you can look in the oh. mirror. Okay. I like it. Yeah. Thumbs up. My Thumbs up? Yeah. Okay, okay, lovely. <laughs> 
Your turn, Harpa Lapa. Can I have this one on? You're going to have a bun as well, like your sister's first. So you can have this one. Okay. Yeah? Popsy, I'm just going to do your hair in three plaits. Okay. I think, okay? Okay. So I'm going to do two here and one here, and then just tuck them okay. all into each other, okay? Okay. Because I'm fed up of seeing my terrible <laughs> braids. All right. Harpa, put your head down a little bit, please. Thank you. Just going to do a single cut here. Actually going to try and do it up a bit. Do you like mummy taking time to do to your hair what she does to your sister's hairs? Does it make you feel like a big girl too? Yeah, it feels like I do love the spiders. What? You do love spiders? We're not talking about spiders, we're talking about head No, on, on the camera. I don't know what you're talking about, Baba. Oh, the, the um, subscribers on the camera. Oh, the subscribers. No, so sorry, Baba. Not sp of course it's not spiders. Silly Billy Mummy. Spiders? <laughs> spiders, well, well, Well done, Harper, for explaining yourself. That was very impressive. No, you didn't know what the question was. <laughs> I didn't know what you were saying, did I? This mummy, no. see, mummies don't always get it right, do they? No. No. Oh, girls do. What, your sisters do? Yeah, me, yeah. Oh, little girls always get it right, do yeah. they? Okay. But not well. mummies. Not mummies? Oh, well. Mummies get it right sometimes. Yeah. But just not all the time. No. And little girls get it right sometimes, but just not all. Harper, little girls get it right sometimes, but not, but not all the time. No. Would you agree? Yes. We'd be happy to agree on that one. <laughs> In it, girls. Sometimes mummies get it right. Sometimes little girls get it right. Right, but I've almost finished doing this one. Now I'm going to do your. Harper, don't shake the thing. Now I'm going to do your third one. I'm glad your head scarves haven't come off whilst you're playing. That's good. I had to try and um, it's, I had to try and get some material for your head scarves that weren't as slippy as the usual head scarf material because, of course, like satin ones and silk ones are good for keeping moisture in your hair. But then I had to get some that were a bit of a mix so that they wouldn't just slip off your head either. When you had them on the other day, after a while, they ended up like halfway up your head. So. That's not great, that's not a great look, is it? I've just touched your plaits into each other and now I'm going to put your headscarf on, okay? Yeah. So I'm going to come round the front, Harper. Okay. Can you kneel on your knees for me, baby? Just on the chair, facing mummy. Yeah, you can, no, you can kneel, you can go down your bottom, that's it. Oh dear, your plaits are falling out. All right, let's keep those there. That's perfect, Harper. You stay right there. This is the same headscarf as Hallie's, but just a different colour. I love you have this, what are they called? Scarves. Scarves, yeah, not scarves. Can you get your baby hairs out of the way? Harp, stay where you were. Did you win? Harpa, you was in the perfect position. Right, stay there. Right, so I'm going to put this around the back. Stay where you are. <laughs> right, and then I'm going to come around the front. And I'm going to make sure, don't go further down, Bubba. Keep your head a little bit up, just kind of in between. I'm going to try and get it across your forehead. There we go. I think that is the correct position. Then I'm just going to twist, 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 twist. What am I doing? Twist. Twist, 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 twist the headscarf round, round, round. Then you can sit up for mummy. All right, twist it round and round and round. round, and round. I like this colour, Harper. Do you like this colour? Yeah. Do you know what colour it is? What colour would you call it? Blue. Blue, yeah. I think it's like a greeny blue, isn't it? Yeah. Aqua, maybe. Or ocean. Or, yeah, there's lots of kind of descriptions of this colour, I think. Right, almost done. Tucking your little hairs on the side. All right. Done. Can I check in the mirror? You want to check in the mirror? I'll check that it's okay. Oh, I like it. <laughs> it looks good. Do you like it? I think it looks very cute, Harper. Give us a twirl. You got to twirl around. <laughs> <laughs> that means you go like this, baby. You twirl like this. 
Yay! Yeah. 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 Okay, don't get dizzy, don't get dizzy. Right, let me see the three of you. Right, so I think that looks absolutely lovely, jubbly. Girls, do you like them? Yeah! Yes, wonderful. Do you think you could sleep in them? Maybe! We could try Maybe. it tonight. Yeah. Do, you think it, do you think it looks good? Oh, you think it looks good, do you, Rue? Do you think it looks nice on your sister? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I think it looks super duper cute and it's really quite easy to do. Rue, what's the matter, Mr. Man? It's so easy to do and also with that sort of material that's not too slippery but obviously is not full just cotton, it should stay on your head for a significant amount of time. So we'll put it to a test tonight. But also I am gonna do your bow ones, but just not right now. We'll leave that to another time. So that's how I do the buns on the girls and I'm just gonna quickly show you how I do it on myself. It's very quick and easy, especially when you've got short hair like mine. Uh, again, I've got um, a rectangular scarf, but it's a much bigger one. <laughs> Sorry, a much bigger one <laughs> than I used on the girls. Um, and you literally, I'm folding a bit here, if you can see, it was like this, and I folded it over a little bit. That's just because I, don't personally like it looking too thin at the back. That's just personal preference. And I'm just gonna bring my head down like this. Pull it together underneath here and I make, try and make sure it's going evenly across my forehead. And I just literally just twist it. Twist, 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 twist. So you can feel it getting a bit tight. And I just wrap it around and around just the same as I did with the girls and what you want to try and make sure that you're doing is when you're getting to these bits you try and get the longer bits of material to fold over the short bits of material so you get a nice smooth bun and you just literally wrap it all the way around any little bits that are sticking out you don't want you just stick them in like that and it's just as easy as that and obviously make sure you've got enough space for your oh my earring is caught into it for your ears so that you can hear, although I usually can't hear because I'm just a bit deaf. And it's simple as that and it literally stays all day. Lovely, lovely jubbly. Um, if you would like a part two of how I do, if you've seen like the hair tie with the bow at the front, if you'd like to see how I do that on the girls and myself, then just let us know in the comments section below. And we'll do a video on how to tie your hair in a hair bow with a headscarf. <laughs> all right there, we love you guys. So you think you were right? Bring it up, bring it up, bring me around